All right, this is Monty test, like maybe 3,000 something. I have been testing to get this working for quite some time, and I've had many fails. Oh boy. Uh oh, oh no. This did not work at all. Okay, back to the drawing board. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. All right, I might have to dial the speed down, but I believe I have gotten this working to the best of my abilities. Uh, I don't have the 3D model loaded up yet. I'm still working on that, trying to get it working with Model Bench so it actually looks like Monty. But for right now, we have a green golem. And let's see if this works, which I think it should be working all right. Hopefully, we don't get blitzed by him this time. Hello, Mr. Monty. Oh, God. He is, he is, he is on his way to kick my ass. All right. Time to go. Yeah, he is. He's, um, at least stuck. I can't tell if he's stuck or if the game's lagging. No, I think the game is lagging. He's also probably about to jump, I reckon. Yep, oh god. Oh my god. So, basically, I have it set up where every 30 seconds, Monty can randomly jump. It's, uh, it's 20 to 30 seconds, basically. Uh, intervals of 20 to 30 seconds. Anytime in between that, he can take a jump. But it's still kind of randomized. Uh, when he jumps, the player is given resistance for one second, so he doesn't instantly obliterate you. Oh god. And then after that, oh shit. So when Monty jumps, the player is given resistance for a moment, so he doesn't immediately kill you. Um, and then he is given a boost in speed and he can then kill you. Which we'll probably be seeing shortly, I reckon. So I will be adding, like, heal stations around the catwalks to allow you to heal after Monty jumps. Yeah, he just jumped over to me. Uh, I'm not hearing the sound effects of him jumping, though. I think I'm out of the range of the command blocks. Let me lure him back over by one. So they're mostly lined around this catwalk here. Because I believe it's a range of 20, 20 to 25 blocks, so as long as we're within that range, we should be able to hear the sound effect. Maybe. Should be any second now, I reckon. There it is. Alright, yeah, I played the sound effect. So basically, I just have to scatter those across the catwalks, and then it will have a sound effect whenever he jumps. No matter where he is. So currently, the plan is just to get him a 3D model so he looks like Monty. And then add some animations, and we have Monty. He is getting stuck a lot, though. But I can't tell if it's him actually getting stuck, or if it's the game lagging. I think it's the game lagging, to be honest. I don't actually know if I showed it off. Since he's stuck here, I can show it better. Uh, he does actually hover up when he jumps. I can go and show it here as we crouch behind this um, part of the catwalk. You can actually see him jump. And then he just teleports to the player, but yeah, I mean, it's whatever. And he's, there he goes. So he actually does go and jump. He does have trouble getting up to this, unfortunately. What I could do is put like a skulk sensor under this, and if he walks near it, I have it so it only targets him. So if he walks near this, it just teleports him up here. I could easily do that. Oh god, oh, that works too. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with how Monty works. It's not, like, amazing, but it works, it functions. And then, due to his constant jumping, he can always catch up to the player, even if he's stuck in a corner like a dumbass. So... For right now, I think I'm pretty happy with how Monty's AI is working. Again, I still have to get the three model working in Block Bench. I have one made, it's just a matter of applying it to the model. Or the golem, I guess. But with that said and done, you can't catch me if I'm dead, Monty. Uh-oh. Um... Okay, that's the problem. He's gonna teleport- he's gonna teleport down here and wreck me, wait. Uh-oh. How do I get out of here? Um, this is a problem. Uh, I didn't think this through. Can I jump over this? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm totally gonna die. JUMP! Oh god!